Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. And in today's revision video, we're going to look at data handling and interpreting data. Uh, this is another question that come up, could come up on the maths reasoning paper. I've been going through these the last few days, and this is to do with line graphs today. So I'm going to show you how to attempt a question that involves children using line graphs. Hopefully from this video, you can help your child to understand line graphs a bit better, and then maybe potentially get a, a few marks on those questions. Hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, but if you have, thank you so much for your support. Um, if you like these videos and you want to see more videos on primary education, then subscribe and give the video a like because it really helps the channel out. Thanks a lot. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is going to be uh, another SATS revision style video based on the Key Stage 2 Maths Paper 2 and Paper 3 reasoning style questions that could come up. A whole range of questions could come up in these papers. So over the last few days, I've just been trying to make videos based on um, what different things might come up and things we can fix quickly for the children so they can maybe attempt these questions and get them correct. Today, I would like to look at data handling and interpreting data. So there's a good chance in the SATs they'll have a question about line graphs, okay? Um, they're usually given a graph and they have to look at the graph, have a look at what it shows, and then try to attempt that question. So first thing I would ask them to do is work out what is that graph showing? It usually has a title and it usually has an X axis along the bottom and a Y axis going along the top. So this chart, this graph shows the temperature in degrees centigrade from 2 a.m. to 3 p.m. on a cold day. You can see along the bottom the time as it changes from 2, 2 a.m. here to 3 p.m. here. Okay, It's actually going slightly further than that, which is important because we'll come to that in a minute. And there up that side, you can see the temperature change. The line graph marks how the temperature changed. Okay, And you can see following the line graph, how it did change throughout that time. The first question says, how many degrees warmer was it at 3 p.m. than at 3 a.m.? So, you often get questions just like this, where it's asking you to find the difference between those two numbers. So the first thing I would suggest doing is look at what the time, what the temperature was at 3 p.m. So let's use our ruler to help us. 3 p.m. is right here at the end. I'm just going to draw a line there. And then from that line there, I'm going to go across so I can get the exact time, to the exact temperature, sorry. And looking at it here, it looks like the temperature was 2. Okay, I can see by looking at the, the graph that there's a 2 there. So it was 2 degrees. Um, what about 3 a.m.? So 3 a.m. is here at the start. So let's have a look at 3 a.m. We're going to go up here and across. Not as far to go here, but just to make sure I've got that temperature accurate. At 3 a.m., it was minus 5. So, essentially what I also need to use is my knowledge of negative and positive numbers. At 3 p.m., okay, it was 2, but at 3 a.m. it was minus 5. So what is the difference between those two numbers? Well, um, if I count from minus 5 up to minus 2, um, just to show you more clearly, if I draw a small number line here and put 0 in the middle, minus five down here and two up here. How, do, how What is the difference between those two numbers? So minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. And then one and two, the difference between those two numbers is five and two, seven. And to show you how that works on here, to go from minus five to zero, I added five. And to go from zero to two, I added two, which means the difference between those times, okay, those temperatures, sorry, minus 5 and 2 was 7 degrees. Essentially, it increased by 7 degrees centigrade. Now, just be careful as well. If the unit of measurement isn't given, the child will be asked to give that measurement to get a correct answer. In this case, it is given, so I don't need to write it down. Uh, next question. What was the temperature at 6 p.m.? Right, so 6 p.m. Let's find 6 p.m. Right, 6 p.m., Oh, no, I read that question wrong. So read the question carefully. At 6 p.m., the temperature was 4 degrees lower than at 3 p.m. 
what was the temperature at 6 p.m. Now, if I look at 6 p.m. here, there is no line for 6 p.m., okay? It's asking you to try and work it out, but it's saying that the temperature at 6, which is here, was 4 degrees lower than the temperature at 3, which was here. So at 3 p.m., as we said, or as we found out before, okay, it was 2 degrees. And if I go 4 degrees lower than 2, uh, than 2, I'm going to count back 4, minus uh, 2, 1, and 0, minus 1, minus 2. Okay, so I'm counting back 4. So the temperature was going to be minus 2 degrees centigrade. They must write the answers in the boxes to get those correct answers. And just to show you what I did there, again, if I draw a number line here to help me work it out, at uh, 3 p.m., the temperature was 2, positive 2, and it said that the temperature was 4 degrees lower. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, which gets me to minus 2, going through 1, 0, and minus 1. So the temperature 4 degrees lower than 2 would be minus 2. And that's how you'd answer that question. Let's have a look at the next one. So the next question here is another data handling question, another line graph question. First thing I do, if I'm the child sitting this test, work out what is the graph showing me. So the title's at the top. What does the x-axis show? What does the y-axis show? This graph shows the height of a balloon at different times. Hmm, they've even given us a nice picture there. So... Height's a balloon, you've got the time in seconds here running from 0 to 80, and you've got the height, the measurement, the unit of measurement is metres, and you can see it obviously rose as the balloon got higher. From the graph, find the height of the balloon at 50 seconds. So, the time is along the bottom, I find 50 seconds, I use my ruler, I, move, I draw a line from 50 seconds up to where I meet the line, okay, now, you'll notice that they've asked this question on purpose, because if I'm, where I meet the line is here, and if I run a line across, actually, it's not on 40 seconds, it's not on 45 seconds, it's actually between 45 and 50, and my guess would be just after 45 here, 46. So, the, the, I, I would estimate that it would be at 46 metres, when the balloon got to 50 seconds, it had risen to 46 meters. Now, I put my answer in the box here. And in the mark scheme, it'll often say accept answers between 46, 47, and 48. So one of those three. So they usually have a bit of leeway there. But they couldn't be given a correct answer for 45 because it's quite clear that the line is definitely not on 45. I'm going to go 46, but I think they'd probably get it correct if they said 47 or 48. So the second part of the question says, use the graph to find how long it took the balloon to rise from 30 meters to 60 meters. Now, an easy mistake to make, okay, is actually to think that we're looking at 60 here. Well, we're not because this is the time. And it's asking us how long did it take to get from 30 meters, which is here, to 60 meters, which is, where did it reach 60 meters? It reached 60 meters here. So I'm not looking at this space here between 30 and 60 seconds. I'm actually looking from this point to this point. And how long did it take to get from there to there? Which is all of this space here. All this space. Okay, from there all the way to there. Because that's where it started 30 meters and it got to 60 here. Now, how long did that take? Well, it started at 25, because that's in between 25, 20 and 30, and it got there at 80. So, 80 seconds. From 25 to 80, that is, if we count in fives, that is 25, 30, yeah? 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So what's, let's count that in fives now. So it is 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So the diff, from, from 25 there, where it was at 30 metres, to here, where it got to 60 metres, 
was 55 seconds, okay? Tricky question, but as long as they read the graph correctly, they'll come to the correct answer. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.